Hello my pupilos and welcome to a new Spanish lesson with me, Sebas. Today we will try to solve one of the most common doubts the Spanish students have, the difference between muy and mucho. First thing I want you to know is that if you want to understand the difference between these two words, first we must understand the concept of the different type of words. And with this I mean nouns, adjectives, adverbs or whatever. I've done a couple of videos about this and you can check them in the link up there. So now let's get into our topic. Before starting, we must take into consideration that the word muy, yes, written this way, never has any kind of variation because it's always an adverb. Like never, ever, any kind of variation. And like mucho, which can be used either as an adjective or as an adverb. And as you're probably guessing, as an adjective, it must always fit with the noun we're describing. So we can say mucho, mucha, muchos, or muchas. And we can also use the superlativos muchísimos, muchísimas, muchísimo, muchísima. So now, let's get started with the adverb muy. Basically, we have to know two rules about this word. And so you can understand in a better way I will become a little smaller like the Chapulín Colorado. So you can understand in a better way. As I told you before, we must take into consideration that muy is always an adverb, so we can use it before an adjective. That's the rule number one. Let's take a closer look. We can say, for example, Diego is flaco, so flaco, which means slim, is the adjective. So if we want to say that he is very slim, we say Diego es muy flaco. Diego es muy flaco. So please never ever in your life say Diego es mucho flaco. Like never, please, in your whole life. Second rule, we use muy before another adverb, which, as you know, are the words that add information to the verb. So for example, we could say, mi oficina está muy cerca. My office is very near. Mi oficina está muy cerca. So cerca, in this case, is an adverb of distance. Let's see another example so we can clear this once for all. How we say, the store is very far from here. Since far is an adverb, we would also say, la tienda está muy lejos de aquí. La tienda está muy lejos de aquí. Now, it's turn for the word mucho. We have to know three things about this word. First, it's used as an adverb, which is after a verb. Let's take a closer look. What if we say, Juan siempre come mucho. Juan siempre come mucho. Come is the verb. And mucho, in this case, is used as an adverb, so it will never suffer any variation. Now, what if we say, ellas corrieron mucho? Ellas corrieron mucho. As you see again, mucho doesn't vary after a verb as it's acting as an adverb. It doesn't matter the gender or the number, we just always say mucho. Another form to use mucho as an adverb is after the comparatives mejor, peor, mayor, menor, más, or menos. Do you remember about the comparatives? Well, this is a good chance to remember about them. For example, we can say, este libro es mucho mejor que el otro. Este libro es mucho mejor que el otro. Another example could be, Carla y Diego son mucho mayores que Oscar. Carla y Diego son mucho mayores que Oscar. Okay, now, as the third and last rule, let's see the adjective form of the word mucho, which, as you obviously know, goes always with a noun and has a variation according the gender and number of the noun. Regarding the position in this sentence, we use it before the noun. For example, mi tío tiene muchos perros. Mi tío tiene muchos perros. As you see, here muchos fits with the noun perros. 
They are both in masculine and plural form. Let's see another example. No había mucha comida. No había mucha comida. Again, as the noun comida is in the feminine and singular form, it also fits with the adjective mucha. That's simple. Just when you know you will describe a noun, we use mucho as an adjective. Do you see? It's not that hard when you analyze and know about the different type of words. Now, summarizing, let's see this final diagram. Muy is always an adverb, so it never has any variation. We use it before an adjective or another adverb. Mucho might be either an adverb or an adjective. We use mucho before a noun, and in this case, it has a variation according to the number and gender of the noun. And on the other hand, we can use the invariable form of mucho by putting it after a verb or after a comparative word, and in this case, it works as an adverb. That's simple. And now, I'm getting big again. Y bueno, mis queridos pupilos, eso es todo por hoy. If you have any question, opinion, or recommendation, please go ahead and put your comments below. And if you like this video, thumb up and subscribe. Soy Sebas y hasta la próxima.